yeah, that ending never happened. It never did, and it will continue to never happen until the end of time. Hello there, everybody, and welcome to part 9 of Donkey Kong 64. Alright, so we've completed the angry Aztec last time. I don't know why the it should be an adjective, but, you know, oh well, who really cares? Um, so, now that we've completed angry Aztec, at least for right now, we can proceed on to getting our stuff done before we head off to the next world. So, let's do that. So, first things first... I believe over here is something important. I don't actually know what this is because I don't actually remember what this is because I haven't practiced this. I really don't know. Oh. It's just something for later. Never mind. Never mind. It's all good. It's all fine. Don't have to worry. That's okay. And, uh, these little gongs that you want to ram into? Well, uh, guess what? They unlock a challenge for a golden banana, sure. But, well, uh, who's gonna get them? Like, who legit is going to get them? Like, it's definitely not Diddy, because... Well, he can't jump high enough. None of the other Kongs can jump high enough, and no one can long jump long enough to effectively, uh, you know, get that thing. So what the hell? What the hell, dude? We to freaking tease us like that. Seriously. Like, what a jip. <laughs> what a serious jip. Anyway. Let's switch over to Tiny Kong. And... You remember that number 5 panel I tried... Or number 5 pad that I told you about that was really important? Well, this is the reason why. So, this little island right here... Actually, wait! There's a very easy golden banana that... Is... What? I swear, I hit the thing! Okay, thank you. Yeah! There is a banana over here, and we might as well get it here. Alright, so that is another banana for DK Owls in the books. But, more importantly, we have this island right here. And, by using Tiny Kong, we can enter inside. In fact, you can only do this with Tiny, so... Exclusive character. And yet again, we have another female character with a big bust. Just like Humba Wumba. Oh, I just don't know what to do. There was this huge tremor recently, and it scared my banana furies so much that they panicked and flew away. I don't want anyone who manages to find them. Who manages to find them all and bring them back to me. Please help me, little one. Calm down, Mrs. Fairy. My friends and I will look out for them on our adventure. Finn, why are you looking at me like that? Oh, thank you. But I'm afraid you won't be able to simply grab them out of the air. The only way to catch banana fairies is by trapping them inside special banana skin photographs. Why can't we just grab them in out of the air? Here, take my magical camera. It already has some film in it. To activate the camera, press and hold ZL, and then press down, I guess. I don't know. How the hell does that work? Catch a fairy's picture by pressing B. As a sign of our friendship, I will now teach you the, the, the crystal. And I'll teach you the secret ability of the crystal. <laughs> press and hold B to power up this special move that you and your Kongs can do to activate it, as well as protecting you, it can also be useful for unearthing the hidden items. <gasps> Unfortunately, it needs a crystal card not to work, so he has a wise... I really don't know how I could keep up with that. Seriously, I, I really don't know how I could do that. 
But anyway, yeah. Uh, so, uh, our collectibles list just got a whole lot bigger. <laughs> because, well... On top of having to find golden bananas, which we do, which is our main objective, we have battle crowns, which we need to, to keep track of, which is one thing. Boss keys, which you know that's another main objective, so that doesn't count. Two is the is the banana medals. Three is the blueprints, and now we have to effectively be on the lookout for banana fairies. And you bet your ass we're gonna ha we're gonna get them all because you know who seriously seriously thought that banana fairies would be a good collectible? I don't know, but they yield some pretty good rewards. So let's actually demonstrate this by going over to a banana fairy. And I think now I don't remember, but I think. There's one at the Banana Horde, which actually is a good way, which is actually a very good thing, actually, because we want to go over to the Banana Horde, because with that new move we just learned, that's going to help us unearth this thing. So, this special little coin right here, as Squawks will no doubt tell you, it gives five Banana Coins to each Kong. So every Kong now has an additional five coins. And uh, if you're worried about, you know, that last Kong not getting any coins, don't be. That last Kong that we have to rescue, he will get, you know, five banana coins as well. So you're free to unearth as many of these as possible before you eventually rescue him. So... We can just go ahead and get these right now while we can. Um, I'm not going to go after every single one because, well, let's just, let's say that banana coins are, you know, they are indeed very plentiful. Well, now they are thanks to the fact that we can now just unearth them however we want. And, uh, yeah, so add another thing to that list. Now, I don't think there's a, there's a... Banana fairy in here? No. Okay. Well, we did catch little glimpses of where banana fairies were in uh, certain locations of certain levels. So, what we're going to do now is we... I know this is going to be a little bit weird. This is going to be a little bit weird, but I want to head back into Jungle Japes just to show this off. Just to show off what a banana fairy is like and how to effectively get one in actual real life. So you recall that we briefly ran into this little room right here. I'm just going to ignore the, uh, the, uh, you know, bananas for right now since I want to save those for later. But, I do want to get these banana coins because, you know, they're important. Well, I can miss that one. Actually, no. No coin left behind, I say. Anyway, here we have a room with a banana fairy in it. And, we now have that special little camera, which we can use it to completely explode the banana fairy. No. So, whenever you're in a room with a banana fairy... You'll know you're good when you see the smiley icon turn green, or the face turn green. That way, we got the banana fairy. With the boobs. And, <clears throat> and because of that, now we can carry extra film and extra crystal coconuts. Look at that. We now have a little bit more ammunition, huh? Yeah, so getting banana fairies actually does help out. It really does help out. And it actually unlocks some bonus things as well. Bonus things that we're going to encounter at a later time. Because, you know, <clears throat> because, you know, of course we are. I mean, why wouldn't we do that? 
So purely for demonstration purposes, we have, we now have a banana fairy, you know, captured. So that's good. Or captured on film, as they say. I don't really know how this is a collectible, but, you know, there it is. So let's unlock this and get our other, you know, coins and stuff so that we can, you know, move on with our lives now. Since all I really want to do for extra stuff is to, well, show off, you know, the banana fairies and whatnot. Anyway, now we can actually proceed on with story progression. First, actually, let me see if there's... Oh, yeah, there is. I had a feeling that there would be a golden banana right here. There it is. Is it, doesn't he just go along with the beat so well? He just goes like... Dawn, do, do, dawn, do, do, dawn, gee, gong, woo, hop! Isn't that just so neat? <laughs> anyway, let's get another uh, lock out of the way, shall we? You thought all the levels would take place on DK Isles, didn't you? Well, as it turns out, K. Rules Island is also a hub area too. So now this is now this is getting somewhere good. Because effectively we can explore K. Rules, you know, mechanical ship island thing. And it even has its own music as well, which is just a more sinister version of the DK Isles theme. Which I kind of like that. I kind of like how, you know, K. Rule's theme and DK's theme has this sort of parallel at work. It's just that one's more in a minor key, I guess they would call it. And, you know, DK Isles is, you know, in a major key, I guess. I don't, I don't really know what that is. But I don't know music terms, but what I do know is that... This is pretty cool. This is pretty cool that we have levels set in uh, K. Rule's, you know, little island. So that's cool. That is very, very cool. But anyway, let's get that unit of health. And let's get this number four pad all set. And before we head off to that hub area, that, you know, eventual hub area... We can now drop down here and completely screw those vines entirely. Because, yep, there are cursed blacks here too. And uh, speaking of blueprints, so you can basically hold on to as many blueprints as you want. And uh, you can basically turn them in whenever you want. So, you know, that's fine. But I'd rather just turn them in for completion's sake. You know, just to get five bananas, five golden bananas in a row right here. So, yeah. And also, this rock is blocking the battle arena. What a tease, dude. What a tease. And yes, this is actually a full version of that, of K. Rool's theme in Snipe style, so that's pretty cool. You can listen to it on your own time, but that's neat. Variation of themes. That's what he does best. Oh, gee. There, there's a coconut. Okay. I definitely should practice more, because God. <laughs> okay. I'm going to switch over to DK. Because we're going to want that. I want it. Okay. So let's drop down. And completely get fricked. Okay, it's over here. It's over here, you fool. Why? All 
right, don't let me screw up here. I mean, I know I just, uh, you know, did those vines, but whatever. It's right here anyway. Get that coconut thing. And just shoot and get the banana. All right, we did it. We have more bananas than any other Kong. Poor Diddy. <laughs> so anyway, uh, you'll notice that K-Lumsy opened up two worlds, actually. One over there, and one that's near the number four pad of k Rules Island. We could technically just do these in any order we want, but... Personally, I'd rather go for world number three first. Because I think that would be the better option. And that would probably be the better option for you as well. Besides, who wouldn't want to uh, be in a hub world where you have, you know, K. Rules theme in a... Uh, K. Rules Island theme in a more music box style? We have way more than enough bananas to satisfy this guy. Besides... All K. Rool needed to do was to max out this thing to 999 bananas, and that would be it. Simple as that. Besides, I simply just want to, uh, you know, deal with each world in a whole session. I'm gonna die because I still have to do the late shift. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys on the next time for when we start a brand new world in Donkey Kong 64. See you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching. Yeah.